The power of music to transform the lives of people living with dementia was underlined last year when a former music teacher saw his composition become a viral hit on social media. Paul Harvey's joy at playing the piano inspired one of Scotland's wealthiest men to donate a million pounds to charity to give more people the chance to hear and take part in live music. Graham Satchell has been finding out more. If you ever wondered about the extraordinary power of music, look at this. Care home residents, smiling, singing, dancing. This, a regular music therapy session by the jazz quartet Spitz. Just because you've got dementia, for example, doesn't mean that there isn't like a whole world in someone's mind, there's a, a whole person, like a whole view of life and a whole experience of richness. The transformative effect of music can be remarkable. Take John, for example, who has vascular dementia. Members of Spitz worked closely with John, gave him a guitar, changed his life. Through music, we've got to know John's life history, we've got to know who John is, and now He's a sense of attention, he loves music, he, he's such a fun person to be around and hey ho, it's four years on now, he's here with us and I think we're going to get many more years to come with John. I like music and I like country western a lot, so it means the most bit, yeah. John will carry on having music therapy because Spitz is now getting extra funding from an unexpected source. When Paul Harvey was given four notes by his son Nick to improvise a tune, no one could have guessed what would happen next. The tune went viral online and then was orchestrated by the BBC Philharmonic. If he's having a bad day, playing the right piece of music at the right time can be absolutely transformational. And if I manage to get him up to play the piano, magic happens. Paul's story was seen by Scottish philanthropist Sir Tom Hunter, who gave a million pounds to two charities. One of them, Music for Dementia, is distributing that money today. It's going to do good, and that's all that matters. We didn't do very little except just play four notes. <laughs> Music continues where the printed word stops and, 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 and it continues in a way that is magical. Paul is a remarkably gifted man whose love of music will now help thousands of other people with dementia across the UK. Graham Satchel, BBC News. What a beautiful piece.